Hello, in today's video, we will learn how to download and install MongoDB and Robo3D. So MongoDB is the database. It's the NoSQL or NoSQL database. And Robo3D is the uh, GUI tool. So it's basically a tool to visualize your database and it makes your life so easy. And in the next video, we will learn how to use both these tools along with R, R programming language. Uh, and we will uh, create our own database, we will connect the database, we will perform different database operations, we will learn how to load um, an external database, and, and many other things. So we will write different queries and so on. And uh, we will do that in the next video. Okay, now let's begin. So we will download MongoDB from here. I will paste this link down in the description below, and we will choose the community server. Here you can uh, choose your custom specifications. So the current version is 4.4.3. I'm going to choose that. Since we are downloading it for Windows, so we will definitely choose Windows. If you are downloading it for any other platform, you can choose that from here. And then uh, the package that we will choose is MSI, not the zip one. And then click on download. So you can see that the download has begun. So the MongoDB is being downloaded. Meanwhile, let's download Robo3D. So for that, the download link is this, and I'm gonna put this as well down in the description below. So on this side, you can see there are two tools, right? So first one is Studio 3D, and the second one is Robo3D. So Studio 3D is the professional IDE, but if you are a beginner, if you're a starter, Robo3D is enough for you. It actually, um, it will do your work. It has a lot in it. So we will just go with this for now. So you can download Robo3D from here, click on this link. So fill this information and then you can click here for the download. And obviously you can choose different versions from here for Mac and for Linux. After filling up the required information and clicking on the download button, you will be given this window. So you have two options now. The first one is the exe file and second one is zip file. And I'm gonna go with the exe file. So click here and you can see that the download has started. So both the tools are successfully downloaded. You can see that here. We will begin our installation with MongoDB. So we'll double click on this file and you will see this window. Click next, accept, next. Okay, so we will go with the complete installation. You also have the option to go with the custom installation and choose whichever features you want and whichever you don't want. But for now, we will go with the complete installation. And here you can see inst install MongoDB as a service. So we are not going to choose that. So the only difference that it's going to make is you will have to start MongoDB every time you want to use it. So every time you want to work on it, you have to start it manually. So if you are a developer or if you are going to use MongoDB on daily basis, then you should install it as a service. But if you are a beginner or you are only doing it for your uh, classwork or academic purpose or anything else, you won't use it frequently. The, the main point is that then you should not install it as a service. It, it won't put burden on your system. Then you will only start it manually whenever you want. Click next. And no, we, we don't want MongoDB Compass because we are using Robo3D as a GUI tool. So uncheck this option. It was check, checked before. So you have to uncheck it and then uh, click next. So we are done. Just click on install and the installation will begin. So the setup is installed successfully. Let's click on the finish button. Let's now install Robo3D. So to install Robo3D, double click on this file. You will see this wizard, click next, agree. This is where it will be installed, and this is the space required. Click next. All right, this is be, this will be the start menu folder, and just click on install. Click on agree. Click next. Fill your information here and click next. Now that both the softwares are installed, we have to configure MongoDB 
and we have to check whether the installation was successful or not and for that we will establish a connection so first of all let's open robo 3d so this is robo 3d and uh, to check whether our uh, mongodb has started successfully or not we have to create a connection let's create a uh, checking connection a check connection a temporary connection so i'm going to name it check and we can test it and it's going to give us an error it won't connect so you can see it has failed to connect to this board because why because mongodb has not started yet so to start mongodb open your uh, c folder go inside uh, program files and from there we will go inside mongodb and remember we have not con configured mongodb yet so uh, i'm going to show you what will happen if we won't configure it and it will give you an error so first of all let's see that and then we will configure it and do this thing again so you have to go to this um, path this is the path right you have to go here and click on mongod double click it it will just start and then close so you can see it just closed so it's not working properly so to configure it we have to follow two steps what we have to do is go inside your c folder right click and create a new folder named as data and then go inside this folder data and you have to make a new folder named as db so this is very simple just two steps a folder named data and another folder named db inside it right now again go to that path of mongodb mongodb server 4.4 and bin and again we will click on mongod so this is the file that you have to click on you have to start manually uh, mongodb by uh, running this file you can also pin this so that you don't have to go to this location again and again now double click it and you can see that mongodb has started successfully and we we will confirm that uh, this thing after doing this so we will check this connection again now that our mongodb has started we will check this connection again and see if it is successful or not we will test it so now you can see that yes it has successfully connected to the local host the connection is established i'm going to save it and then we will connect and once we do that you can see that the connection has appeared here it wasn't here before and we can see different databases here for example let's go inside local and we can see several collections so for example startup log so uh, this uh, collection has seven fields this document has seven fields right and this is actually the tree view we can also view it in the table view it, it will look like this in the table view right so in the form of a table and then we have another view known as json mode or text mode so this is the json format the json of the uh, of that document and this is the place where we write queries if you want to directly insert some query we can do that here and we can find anything we want from this document other than that if you want to run this query you can press this button or you can press control that uh, let's write a query here so let's say we want this field we just want this field of all the documents to be displayed this column actually so for that we can write the query here and we're gonna write curly braces and inside that we're gonna write pid colon one that means that just display this particular field or column and do not display the rest of it and we can press Control enter or we can just press this button so once we do that we can see that it, it has fetched all the uh, pids and we can also see that it is also displaying the id and we don't want that so if we don't want that and we haven't asked for it either so it's it's all it always is displayed automatically so if we don't want that we can write another argument in our query and that is underscore id colon and zero and then press Control enter and now we can see that the id has gone now so there you go so this is robot 3t now in the next video let's see how will we use robot 3t along with uh, robot 3d uh, and uh, obviously MongoDB along with R so let's see how will we write queries in R how will we perform different operations uh, on the database in R programming language
I'm going to repeat this thing. Whenever you want to start your MongoDB manually, uh, whenever you want to work on it, you will have to do that once uh, before working on it. So for that, you will go to this particular path inside the bin folder. And here you will see this file MongoD. This is the um, application that you have to run. So you will double click this file or you will run this application once every time you want to work on MongoDB. That's how it will start manually.